Hey guys, how's it going? So today I'm actually here to talk about DAWs. So there's three versions of Ableton Live. The first one is intro, the second one is standard, and the third one is suite. And I got the suite version. And today I'm here to help you decide which version is better for you, because I had a hard time deciding between the three and I made a decision that I'm still happy with after seven months of using it. So if you're thinking of buying intro, let me just tell you this straight up, don't buy it, like ever. What I would recommend is buy something like a Focusrite Scarlet, anything the Solo, the 2i2, 2i4, any of those, they come with Ableton Live Lite, which is practically the same thing as Live Intro. So if you're thinking of buying Ableton Live Intro, don't buy it. Instead, get a different product that comes with Live Lite and upgrade from there because you get very good discounts from there. So let me just tell you this straight up. If you already have a bunch of plugins that you're used to using, don't go for Sweet, go for Standard. If you're already used to using Massive, Serum, or the Native Instruments Complete series, you're probably not gonna be using a lot of the benefits that you get from Sweet. But if you're like me, and you're starting from zero, if you go for Sweet, you get pretty much everything you need for a lot cheaper than if you were to buy everything individually. Okay, so let me put it this way. If you already have a bunch of plugins that you're used to using, go for standard. But if you don't have that many plugins or if you don't have any plugins at all, go for suite because you're gonna get pretty much everything you need to get started or even to make for good. You're good, you're good, man, you're good. So some things that I use in suite all the time, analog and operator, they're great synthesizers that I use all the time. But not only that, also the strings library, the horns library, the, the mallets, the wind instruments, uh, the session drum samples, I also like the retro synth. All those I use all the time and I would not have those if I didn't have sweet. The one exception to getting sweet over standard, even if you have a bunch of plugins, is Max for Live. For those of you who don't know what it is, think of it like jailbreaking your iPhone. You pretty much take an iPhone that can do quite a bit of things already and you just unlock it. And third party companies, they just program these plugins that you can get for free, most of them. And you can do things that you never would have thought was possible with just a regular Ableton Live. So if you're gonna be using Ableton Live as your main DAW and your first DAW, I would definitely recommend getting Ableton Live Suite. And just a small tip, I would wait for a sale. I don't know when there's sales, you just keep an eye out because I bought Suite for like 400 bucks. So honestly, play your card smart, uh, get the demo for free from a different product and wait for a sale the best way to buy Ableton Live. So I hope you guys get something good out of this video. Peace out. I hope you guys have a great day and I'll catch you guys later. Peace.